go. Uh, hello, people. Hello, YouTube. Oh, I just got a scratch my leg a bit. Fucking hell. Um, <laughs> this is fantastic start to a fantastic video. Uh, I haven't done a video in a long time. Why haven't I done a video in a long time? It's because this is my 200th video and uh, I, I didn't know what to do with the 200th video. I wanted to do something special so I waited, I waited and since I almost never made, makes, make any, <laughs> you know, uh, special cool videos because I really, you know, I can't. Um, I just decided to do a video today. So this is my 200th video. Uh, I never thought that I would, you know, come this far. By far is, I mean, making 200 videos. Strong coffee. Uh, usually when I start to, you know, do uh, do anything, uh, I usually get bored, kind of quick, and I, you know. Stop uh, uh, much earlier than uh, I haven't stopped yet, though. I'm still making videos for us. Uh, no, I, I, I usually don't, you know, do a thing like this this long. Uh, that means that I like this. Uh, and uh, why have I stayed on for so long? It's because probably because the, the community, you know. Uh, people in this community is fucking amazing uh, and uh, I think that's the main reason why you know people stay on doing this uh, such a everybody take care of everybody and it's people are so fucking nice and uh, yeah so I've done 200 videos fucking amazing um, so what's this video gonna be about it's it's just what it, it's gonna be about me, you know, talking shit about doing 200 videos, giving the thank you to you guys for, you know, putting up with this shit. Uh, because there are a few guys that's been around since um, almost, the, you know, video one. Uh, I wanna thank you for, you know, we're not with this shit for uh, you know we're getting close to two years now um, so yeah enough about that to end the video um, what am I been doing uh, it's uh, the World Cup now so I'm just working and uh, watching football basically and uh, my god the World Cup it's been has been uh, delivering delivering uh, some really good matches uh, <laughs> already um, fucking hell, uh, Holland, <laughs> Holland destroyed Spain 5-1, that was like, I didn't, I don't, I don't think anybody in the world saw that coming, um, uh, Van Paris is, uh, you know, his header, oh, amazing, even though I don't, I'm not a huge fan of Van Paris, you know, but, I really like Robin and Robin was amazing that game. So yeah, World Cup's been you know delivering uh, all that good things uh, that makes us love football. Uh, and the teams I'm uh, cheering for it's you know almost all it's the same teams every year of course. This time Sweden is not in so that sucks fucking balls. Uh, you know, that, ma that makes this summer not as good as the summer could have been, you know, but. Uh, so I always cheer for Argentina. And uh, I don't think they play that good yesterday. I think Bosnia Herzegovina, Herzegovina was uh, almost as good as Argentina, so they need to step up their game. I always shit for Germany, and Germany's gonna—they start their uh, 
uh, their World Cup today against Portugal, against Cristiano. That's going to be amazing. And I actually share for Belgium this year as well because I think their their you know young and hungry team looks fucking fantastic. So that's going to be awesome to watch as well. So enough about football because I I know that uh, you guys, not all, all of you, likes uh, this game. Uh, so uh, enough about that. We'll, we'll see more. Yeah, I want to mention another thing as well that I've been. Uh, uh, voting for and uh, watching for uh, yeah for um, one half year maybe it's youtuber of the month uh, and uh, since this year started uh, 16 bit brothers has uh, you know taken care of that uh, and uh, this month uh, the winner is uh, the guy I voted for almost every time I vote for somebody that guy wins. 16-bit uh, Brit won this time, uh, which w is very well deserved. Uh, and uh, and when uh, the guy wins, he can uh, nominate five more. I think it's five. You say four, five. Uh, so he has done that, but this time he he has uh, voted three um, of our, three of us, three of our you know dearest friends. Not very nice of you, mate. Uh, so it, it's very tough to uh, do the voting this time. So uh, he actually <laughs> nominated Kohonas de Loro, uh, Red from Dame Nintendo, and Shock 16. And uh, fucking hell, we all love these channels. Uh, these are three channels I've been watching for a long time. Uh, I've been watching. I think Retro Day Nintendo the longest. <laughs> Retro Day Nintendo. And we have a uh, Connor Stellaro. And Shock 16. But yeah, I, I, I have to involve my um, my brother in arms. My dear, dear good friend, uh, Das Connor Stellaro. But I, uh, why, why I'm taking this up is I think you should you know go into 16 Bit Brothers video and uh, cast your vote. Because it's amazing, and uh, let's keep it in Europe. <laughs> let's, let's let them European wins win. You know, keep it in Europe. So uh, that was that, and uh, I think I've got to do pickups. And this is the last pickup video for quite some time. I think it's like September, and uh, most of these things, um, you know, has been bought. Over a month ago, the last one I think, uh, because I, I haven't been buying anything, and I actually, you know, kept that promise <coughs> for the first time. So um, it's, it's been piled enough, and uh, so um, yeah, this is the last pickup you know, for quite some time. So the first game I want to show is the thing everybody got uh, and everybody loves, and. Uh, me as well and I haven't been playing it that much though because I when it comes to Mario Kart I don't want to play too much in the beginning because I don't want to get fed up with it you know it really scares me if I get fed up with Mario Kart <laughs> which is one of my favorite games of all time so I always take it easy in the beginning but uh, yeah fantastic game my god and I got the especially the limited edition one with the blue shell uh, what a game that is. Talk about that more in another video. Also bought this, uh, the Mario Kart Racing Wheel. Uh, I'm never gonna open this one because I don't uh, race with wheels, but since I got the wheel for the Wii, I won the one for the Wii U as well. So, uh, yeah, I got this. It wasn't uh, that expensive at all when you got the limited edition with this one so yeah that was that and uh, the pickups um, many of these pickups are uh, uh, for my uh, Resident Evil Biohazard um, Final Fantasy collection so if that bores you uh, you can probably turn off the video now but if 
you like these kind of things, you know, stay on. There are other things as well. I even bought NES games, for fuck's sake. Uh, I, I don't collect NES, but there are a few games that, um, sorry, I don't fucking do my hair. Uh, there are a few games that I want for that system. Uh, of course there is. And I got a lot of Famicom, uh, you know. It's time for me, maybe I show my Famicom collection these days. But the first first game is a Sega Saturn game. It's the first one. By Hazard. And yes, I started with these uh, protective uh, sleeves now. Because, uh, yeah, I've seen Cyber Snake use them for a long time, and I think they are amazing. And, uh, you know, they keep the game in amazing. Um, uh, condition and then um, it makes the game look in even better condition that they might you know actually are maybe <laughs> so yeah buy asset on the Saturn uh, Resident Evil the first one uh, might as well sorry what if I do like this it's because of my hay fever uh, uh, two uh, NES games that uh, was on my list that I wanted. Uh, the first one is a bit like uh, Zelda-ish. Uh, that's why I always wanted that one. Uh, both of these games are American. Uh, so, uh, NTSC games, uh, that is. So it's uh, Star Tropic, Tropics. And uh, Dragon Warrior. And Dragon Warrior, Dragon Quest, you know, is a series that I collect for, so I'm really happy to get that one. Uh, RPG. Uh, then we have uh, let's see. my last my last video. I showed you uh, this that I picked up, uh, Mobile Light Force 2, which is actually uh, Castle Shikigami. So in this video, I got Castle Shikigami 2. Uh, American one, uh, awesome shooter, uh, fantastic music. Uh, I definitely recommend this uh, game. And this one I got for like uh, under a dollar, so uh, because I, I actually think I have this one on PlayStation 2, but it was under one dollar, so doesn't affect me that bad, but I can always sell it on. It's uh, Namco Museum uh, number 3, you know, with Miss Pac-Man and uh, all these other games on the PlayStation. Uh, so I'm not too fussed about that. Uh, something I'm really happy to get, uh, the, the Steelbook edition of uh, Lightning Returns, uh, Final Fantasy 13. Final Fantasy 13 number three <laughs> part three so it's a, it's a fantastic steelbook edition uh, so it's actually a slip case over here uh, the cover art is amazing on this one so I really have to get that uh, Japanese Final Fantasy 10 2 we her nice ass there in the back uh, another edition of my one of my favorite games of all times, uh, Resident Evil Biohazard 4 for the PlayStation uh, uh, PlayStation 2. Look at that! It's very cool artwork on the Japanese one. Uh, the Japanese. Uh, Edition of Final Fantasy Tactics for the PlayStation. Awesome. Uh, uh, Biohazard 2. Resident Evil 2, that means. The Japanese one. Very happy to get that. So, my uh, Resident Evil Final Fantasy collection is gone mental. <laughs> I know. You know, but I like to collect for something, and I like to do it, you know, hardcore. Uh, I don't know why I bought this one, it was only like 50p, 
uh, because I think I actually have this game in NTSC US, but I got all, almost all the second Detensu games, you know, the, the mana games. And I really like the artwork on this one. You know, you can see the tree there. Yeah. The second Detensu uh, 4. 50p. Uh, then we have um, a biohazard outbreak, Japanese one. Oh, I love these Japanese outbreaks one. Uh, then we have the uh, outbreak again, uh, the file two. Very glary. Hope you can see these guys. Uh, I actually bought uh, both on games and uh, actually a little handheld uh, from a tuber. So I'm gonna show that now. Uh, it's from uh, Retro Chef. As you can see on the, the thingy there. Uh, I he made a video and I said I want these things. And, uh, and we decided on the price, uh, which is going to stay between him, him and me, And uh, but it was a fair price. And uh, yeah, let's see what's in there. And it was packaged like a fucking, almost impossible to get in there. Uh, but I, I finally managed to get it open. Uh, first one is in a baggie. And that is... Uh, a Game Boy Pocket, the, the skeleton one, and I don't collect the, the pockets or the colors, the Game Boy colors, but uh, I do want the skeleton see-through ones, so I'm really happy to get this. Uh, it's like the, the Game Boy colors, I don't collect for them either, but I want the you know the see-through color, uh, see-through see-through ones. So I was really happy to get this one. The, the C3 pocket and it's a very nice nick as well works perfectly uh, and it came with Super Mario Land as well so awesome that's in the, the collection now uh, nice label on this one this is Star Wars Rogue Squadron so I got I think I got most of the Rogue Squadron games now this actually can, should can come with a manual as well, yes it has, it's a manual, so this one is going in a Universal Game Cave later on. Uh, we have a GameCube game, uh, Super Monkey Ball 2, it's a fantastic game this one, a very nice nick. I know some tiny scratches on there, it looks good. Nice condition, Super Monkey Ball 2. Very good game for the GameCube, I definitely recommend that. Uh, we have more. Uh, this one is probably the one I wanted the most. Uh, I have uh, the first one, so now I got Pandemonium 2. That is fucking awesome. Pandemonium is a very good game. Uh, the first one I I got it on PlayStation. Maybe I would have wanted it on the Saturn, you know, uh, but it's more expensive there. So I'm happy to get these two games on the PlayStation. So a complete one, awesome. Uh, then there were two games that is actually not uh, not complete <laughs> with the discs, but I don't have these two black versions. Uh, fuck the both cracked on the front. I, did, I don't think that that was the case in the video. So I think these got cracked uh, in the in the shipping. So that sucks, but I can always change the fronts. So it's you know I, I got these very cheap. So I just wanted the black version, and, I, and I hopefully I can find the the disc that is missing. Uh, so it's Final Fantasy VIII. In post offices, you know, take care of your packages. Don't fucking you can see all this, you know, it's 
several cracks down there. <laughs> yeah, so this is missing one uh, one disc. And let's see which disc it is. Otherwise, it's complete. It's missing uh, disc two, so I'm gonna you know start looking for that if I can find it cheap. So it's a black version. I actually only have the the greatest hits ones. And uh, same with uh, Meta Gear, Meta Gear Solid. I only have that on uh, uh, Greatest Hit as well. So this is mi missing a disc as well. It's missing this disc one. And he also has the 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 demo the demo of uh, Silent Hill in there. So definitely want to find that disc. So it's a big fucking crack all over here, and uh, I think that also happened in the post. So fucking post office, you know, take care of your packages. Piss me off. So yeah, this was just uh, you know cheap thing in the a package that I asked for. Uh, kind of weird buying not complete games, but as you all know, I collect Final Fantasy VIII. So I um, I was thinking that maybe this is a um, Kind of a cheap way for me to get, you know, the black version in a kind of a cheap way. But <laughs> let's see how that works out. I think that was it. Uh, there's something else in here. Uh, this is a thank you card. It's no fucking no. We all know we when you fucking send packages, even you know, you send notes. For fuck's sake. no notes uh, I'm a bit like a das on this one I, I think that if you send a package you send a fucking note <laughs> no it's okay mate uh, he sent me a thank you uh, Nintendo thank you thingy thank you you're super from blah 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 <laughs> and he fucking sent me fucking hell what I'm gonna do with this fuck's sake Nintendogs <laughs> I'm not fucking gonna play that, mate. Uh, uh, I don't know why I sent this. Uh, if you if you watch my latest video, you've been very smart. Maybe if you send me this one, because I'm really missing my dog. Because you know my dog passed away. This is now three weeks ago. So, is 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 that why you sent me this one, uh, I And you're very, very, you know, kind and <laughs> considerate, man. You know, because I really miss dogs in general right now, and I really miss, you know, Lisa, my dog as well. You know, I had her for 15 years. Uh, so that that's cool. Um, this are this is one is going to my nephews. Um, I don't fucking play Nintendo dogs for fuck's sake, but you know, it was an, it, it was a nice gesture, and nice thought anyway. So that was that package from uh, Retro Chef. Uh, let's go on, see what we have more. We have this. <laughs> this was a, a peripheral inside the Resident Evil, uh, uh, the Dark Side Chronicles Wii. It's like a mask that you put on, and you look like a zombie. Uh, these are only like uh, 40p. I bought this for uh, uh, two Game Boy Advance games that I'm really happy to get. Uh, I already fixed the you know cases for them, and uh, you know already printed out the a cover. So uh, it's two uh, RPGs. The first one is from Atlas. It's uh, Shining Soul. Very happy to get that. And the other one is uh, is from a series I really love. It's Kingdom Hearts: Chain of Memories. So yeah, really happy to get those two. Not many more games to show you guys. I think probably missed a few. I don't know where they are though. Another vid. Uh, a Japanese Biohazard uh, Code Veronica, very nice Nick. Almost every time you buy games import from Japan, they are always in so nice Nick. It's amazing how the Japanese take care of their games. 
Yeah, look at this. It's fucking mint. Uh, some other games that isn't uh, Final Fantasy or <laughs> Resident Evil. This is actually uh, kind of a funny, quirky um, platformer, and it's it's very cheap. I think I bought it for like three pounds, uh, including uh, packaging. And it's Escape from the Bus Bussards Park, uh, Woody Woodpecker. I used to watch Woody Woodpecker, the cartoon, almost every morning when I was younger. I love Woody Woodpecker. And uh, this is a game that I always thought that I had. Uh, it's a fantastic uh, racing game, um, you know, kart game. And uh, when I saw this for like uh, three pounds, almost two pounds, I went through my collection and then I realized I don't have it. So it's a Crash Nitro Kart. So I have it now. Uh, then another racing game uh, from a series that is one of my favorite, uh, especially the one on uh, Sega Saturn. So I'm really looking forward to playing this and see how it is because I haven't played the newer ones of uh, Sega Rally. The Sega Rally on the PlayStation 3. So, see how good that is. Yeah, and these are in the plastic cases as well. And this one I've been looking for a long time. I heard this. Uh, it's, it's an amazing game uh, when you, you play uh, like an insect or you know a spider. Uh, and uh, you know normally you don't play those kind of characters in games. So. I'm really looking forward to playing this, and this is the first time I saw this game for a, you know for a price that you know I I could manage, and I think I paid like seven or eight pounds for this, and uh, yeah, this was actually awarded I think uh, the best game on E3 in 2008, and it's uh, Deadly Creatures on the Wii, so I'm really happy to get that. Uh, and from another series that I like, uh, Broken Sword, uh, The Sleeping Dragon. Who doesn't like Broken Sword? Uh, I would like to get all the Broken Sword games. Uh, I'm not going to buy them on PC though, where they, you know. There are many Broken Sword on the PC, but for the console I'm going to try to get all of them in one of these games. Uh, more Resident Evil. Resident Evil, the first one, uh, but Director's Cut uh, by Asset, uh, Japanese one. Okay. Yeah, very nice condition. With spine cards. And um, Resident Evil 3, uh, by Asset 3, The Last Escape, it's called. Called Nemesis over here. Nice one. So yeah, stop. It cannot fucking be that many more games on the Resident Evil collecting for me. You know how many fucking games can it be? <laughs> it's amazing. Every time I look on the internet, it's like oh, it's not gonna be any Resi games for me, but. There is, I mean, I want them all from all the three different uh, regions. Uh, so I probably got a lot of American still to collect. But yeah, it's, a, it's nice to have a collective something and you know, even though you have a lot and uh, you think you have everything, it's still a long, long way to go to reach the end. So yeah. It's gonna be a nice journey, like the forest and people. And uh, Final Fantasy is, you know, I'm never gonna reach end there because uh, I don't think there's any other uh, series out there with more variants of games <laughs> than Final Fantasy. So yeah, this this uh, this was my uh, 200 video. Um, again, I want to thank you guys for sticking on with this shit. I'm up to 30 minutes now. Shh, holy shit! Uh, I'm gonna watch uh, Germany, Portugal. I think it's coming on at six o'clock or five.
five o'clock. It is in. Uh, if you live on that, you know that little island out there in the ocean. I'm definitely gonna watch that and uh, enjoy the summer. It's been a fantastic summer so far. I mean, it's been fantastic weather. I talked to my friends about this yesterday. It's like, holy shit! It's been, you know, good weather almost every fucking day since early May, and uh, and now it's, you know, we're coming up on July soon. So, fantastic summer so far. So, um, anything else I wanted to add? Um, no. It's not going to be any collecting videos now for quite some time. It's going to be... Um, I have a video coming up uh, which is uh, a video response to my good friend uh, Herbie Ass, uh, 007. Uh, actually really made that, already made that video, so that's coming out as uh, video 201. Because I wanted to make a special one for this uh, 200th video. Uh, and uh, yeah didn't end up special at all but it is a video so and it is fucking 31 minutes and 35 seconds long now so yeah uh, I'm not gonna drag this out and uh, be a pain in the ass I'm just gonna say be nice people and all that other shit and fuck you down